What's up guys, Winter Kills here. Welcome back to another uh, unboxing video. So we got a box of Invasion Vengeance. They changed the name, I think, uh, from the OCG here to the TCG. It used to be Invasion of Vengeance, or something along the lines of that, or Invasion of Venom. Uh, but they changed it to Invasion Vengeance, uh, which is fine. I don't really care about the, the set name too much. All I really care about is what's inside it, and that's why we're cutting it open. Literally, we are cutting it open. That's a clean incision right there. Alright. As you guys probably know, I usually get a box a day early from the actual like scheduled release. Um, and I'm sure most of you know, uh, some of the big, big money, big money cards that come out of this set are uh, Treat Toad, or Totally Awesome as they call it now, and uh, Dimensional Barrier, uh, which is the trap card. Um, so yeah, those are all really good cards that I'm hoping to get. Uh, I don't think I'll get both of them. Uh, my friend pulled a uh, dimensional barrier, so I'm hoping I at least get the totally awesome to uh, you know sort of complete that. I don't know. I'm just trying to be optimistic. Let's start with the first pack. Also, Pot of Avidity comes out in this set as well. They also changed the name of that to some name that I probably won't be able to pronounce something confusing. I had to zoom in there. So we got Quarantine, uh, Continuous Field Spell. Interesting. I have no idea what it's for. Paleozoic stuff, new Paleozoics. Uh, Fraud Freeze, Cypher Twin Raptor, Super Koi Koi, and Subterra Behemoth Ultra Mephis starting off strong with an Ultra Rare. This is actually like one of the better sub terrors, so that's really cool to see off the right off the rip. A freaking sub terror ultra rare. Ignites, Unite, Cypher Bit, and Christron. Let's see, Christron Thyst, Thyst Fern. Had to turn that one around. No way I'm reading that thing upside down. So we got Super Koi Koi, which I have no idea what this card does. I'm gonna read it real quick. Excavate the top three cards of your deck and special summon as many flower cardi monsters among them as possible, ignoring their summoning conditions, but their levels become two and they have their effects negated. Banish the remaining cards face down. If you do, lose a thousand life points for each. You can banish this card from your graveyard and tribute one monster, special summon one flower cardi monster from your hand, ignoring its summoning conditions. You can only activate one super koi koi per turn. So that's cardian support. Interesting. Was not expecting that. I forgot that deck was even a thing. And I also forgot that Christrons are also a thing now, too. That's pretty cool to, to see, though. I've been seeing stuff for that deck for a while now. The one, uh, their Synchro Monster, level 9 Synchro, I was going to do a card discussion on that a while back, because I thought that card was nuts. So we got Flower, Cardi, and Clover with Boar. Uh, A-Cell Recombination Device. Interesting. New uh, Alien Support. Christron Smeager. Gunstellar Tempest and the Phantom Knights Rank Up Magic Launch. So this is the new uh, Rank Up card that Phantom Knights are getting. This card actually looks pretty dope. During the main phase, target one Dark Ixies monster control with no Ixies material. Special summon from your extra deck one Dark Ixies monster that has one rank higher uh, monster than you control. Using its Ixies materials, if you do attach this card, is an additional Ixies material. Special summon is treated as an Ixies summon. Ixies material stats become Ixies material during your main phase. You can banish. This card from your graveyard, target one dark Ixis monster you controlled. Attach the Phantom Knight monster from your hand to that monster's material. So that's, that's not bad. Uh, it just ranks up into Dark Rebellion Ixis Dragon, basically, is what it does. And then those are the rest of our cards Sprite's Blessing, Ignite's Unite, and then another Cypher Bit and Flo uh, Flower Cardian card. I'm not going to read through every single card for each pack, just for the first couple, just kind of see what's in here because I have no idea what's in here, other than totally awesome and dimensional barrier and pot of avidity. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm new to all of this. Christrons, oh, we don't wanna, we don't wanna look ahead. I saw an Ixies card though, so I'm like pretty excited right now. Amazing Pendulum, Paleozoic, uh, Dinomiscus, Subterror Behemoth Burrowing. Aww. I just got really sad for a second. Son of a bitch. Uh, Paleozoic Opa Bean. I, I can't. I can't. Opa Beania. Hmm. New uh, Paleozoic card. Super rare. Uh, that card. Chemical. These are Chemical Beasts, yeah. Chemical Beasts came out as well in this set. So many things came out. I, I always forget. There's always something I forget in every set. 
There's actually more than one usually. There's always a lot. Uh, more chemical beasts. I'm pretty sure they changed their name. Cyframe multi threader. I'm just gonna throw this card in the garbage. I hate cyframes. Uh, Christian Impact, Super Heavy Samurai, Ninja, Saratou, Toby, Teller Knight Genesis. What? What? I thought they were just getting an Xyz monster. Destroy spell trap cards and be one of them or other Teller Knight cards you control. That's not bad. That's not a bad card. That's not a bad card at all. Uh, just don't give them another Teller Knight monster. Predator Plant. Not bad. Pandora's Jewelry Box. And uh, Rare Metal Foe. More Metal Foe support. Not bad. Looking pretty cool, actually. I'm liking it so far. We got the, the Ultra Rare out of the way. We got a teaser. Thought this was a totally awesome. You know, level 2 or rank 2 Water Xyz. Had me excited for a moment, not gonna lie. Predator Plants. Flower Cardians. Space Dragster. This is the promo card, I believe. And Krishran Ametrix. Not bad. Super Synchro Monster. Paleozoic, Psy Frame. This card is also annoying, should be burned. Um, burn all your copies and more Cypher cards. So let's let's just pull out the super rare real quick. We'll kinda keep the stuff organized the best of my abilities. Where have I been putting these rares? There's a rare. Forgetting about the rares. Try not to do it every time, but I always end up doing it. Because the rares are always, uh, sometimes good cards, and there's always like a common in each set that you want to be looking for. So you don't ever want to get rid of your commons. I've always found that out to be a, be a true statement, because like, last set we had Gofu and Pendulum Hole, and just a whole bunch of good commons that a lot of people would just throw to the side. Gradle Combat, you more Gradle cards. Paleozoic. I need to stop holding him like this. Perform pale. Meteor Dragon Red Eyes Impact. And Subterra Behemoth Stygo Kraken. Oh, that's the rare. I gotta put it there. More Subterra cards. Interesting. Hoping I can uh, move some of the Subterra stuff. Because I, I mean, I do want to play it, but I, it's just not worth it. Because I would have to pick up so much more stuff. And uh, I wouldn't like that. <laughs> uh, Acel. More Crystron. More Crystron. A more, whoa, Aroma Sap Seraphine. More Aromage cards, I didn't know about that. Uh, Predator Plant, Metal Foe Mithrilium. Metal Foe's Mithrilium. Ultra Rare, level 6 Psychic. You can target two Metal Foe cards in your graveyard, add one card, and one card in the field, shuffle the targets from your graveyard to the deck, and if you do return, the target on the field to the hand, you can only use the effect of Metal Hose and Mithrilium once per turn. If this card is sent from the field of the graveyard, you special one Metal Hose Pendulum Monster from your graveyard or face up from your extra deck. I don't think this is the good one. I think the good one has zero attack, zero defense. I could be wrong though. And there's the rest of the commons. More red eyes support. I forgot about the red eyes stuff. God, oh my god, I'm forgetting about so many things. I forgot to mention though, I really do like the name of that promo, Space Dragster. It's just a really. Weird card, uh, multi-threader garbage, uh, cipher, amazing pendulum red eyes insight, and full metal foes fusion as our super rare. And then there's the rest, more of the same. A lot of Christian stuff, a lot of flower cardians, and zero treat toads. No secret rare yet. Probably gonna get one very very soon. We got two ultra rares, uh, and we've got two more to go. If everything goes as planned. And let's see what we get. Oh, there's a Charming Resort staff. And there's a Torque Tune Gear. I need to read this card. Uh, Machine Union Tuner. So basically, ABCs can play this now, it looks like. There's a Light Union card. Machine. Once per turn, you can either target one monster you control, equip this card, or unequip it, and special summon this card. A monster equip this card. It's treated as a tuner and gains 500 attack defense. Also, the equipped monster would be destroyed by battle card effect. Destroy this card instead. So now. ABCs can synchro out the ass. Dino Sewing. Form fell Flip Hippo. That's a pretty cool card. I like that. Oh, Charming Resort staff goes right there. Oh, yeah, Spiral stuff too. Also, there's a Secret Rare Sub Terror card I don't want to pull. I do not want to pull the Secret Rare Sub Terror card. Uh, Christian's Mare Mare. This used to be a Parrot Sea Horse. I'm going to leave that out. Uh, Burnout Christian Quan. Interesting. 
Psy frames and more Christians and Chemical Beasts. I think. No, those are just both Chemical Beasts and a Cypher card. Cypher Mirror Knight. Alright, let's see what we got here. More Chem Critters, as they're called, but Chemical Beasts is what we call them. We'll call them that. Uh, Gradle Combat, Paleozoic, Form Pale Seal, Eel, Saber Reflection. And Vermilion Dragon Mech as a secret rare. Okay, this is a just a generic level 9 synchro. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, 27 attack, 800 defense. Once per turn you can banish one tuner monster from your hand. Field or graveyard, then target one card in the field, destroy it. If this single summon card is destroyed by a card effect instead of the graveyard, target one of your banished tuners, add it to your hand. So I actually really, really like this card. Alright, so one secret rare down, one to go, who knows, maybe we'll get three, you never know. Misprint boxes are always a thing. Uh, flower stacking. I just don't like the, the, the sound of that card, the word stacking in there. just don't like it. I don't like it. Let's stack up these rares. Gotta reorganize. Those there. Our super rares, like this. So they are freaking visible. Ultra rares like this. A secret rare like that. Well, you can't see the super rares now. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Everything should be somewhat in picture. Okay. Let's get this last pack on the left side and uh, see what we get. Got eight supers so far, two ultras, and a secret. Uh, more Christian, Amor Phage, not Amor Phage, a Rome Mage. A uh, Romage Synchro Monster, okay. Pot of, okay, I need to turn this around because I cannot read this, but Pot of Avidi, Acquisitiveness. Acquisitiveness. Target three banished monsters, shove all three into the deck, then draw one card. You can only activate one Pot of Avidity per turn. I'm, I'm calling it Pot of Avidity, I do not care. Uh, Christron, Gradle, Slime Jr. I thought we already had that card, I guess not. Alright, we're starting with... The left or the right side now. Right side of the box. Let's see what we get. Canator, Chem Beast, Flower Cardian, Red Eyes Insight, and another uh, Ultra Rare, Danglong, first of the Yang Zing. Level 5 Synchro Monster. Not looking bad at all as an Ultra Rare. So our third Ultra Rare looking pretty good. I'm getting scared though. I'm getting real scared. No treat toad, no totally awesome. Please, please come to me. We got some more cards here, definitely for sure. Nine Pillars of Yang Zing. I changed the name instead of Nine Tails, I think it used to be. Oh, they're fucking with me, dude. Paleozoic, uh, rank two. Gosh darn it. This turned out just to be like the last set and pull a bunch of these things. Oh, I, get, I hate seeing it. They, they Konami knew what they were doing when they made this set. They're like, let's give another level two or rank two water monster to put in there that they would think will be the big money card, but in reality it's not. And we got Tower Knight Genesis as our, uh, put this rare back over here. Tower Knight Genesis as our super rare. That pack. We're coming down. We got after this one. We got three, six, about eight packs to go. I think eight packs left. Let's see what we get. Broad freeze, spiral mission assault, and another Christron Amatrix. You can see like get a lot of Christron stuff out of this one box. Seems like a very easy uh, archetype to get stuff for. Unless there's like a secret rare they have that I don't know about, that's like the worst secret rare to pull. Uh, which, my luck, I'll probably pull it. Mare Mare, putting you over here, because you're Mare Mare. Uh, Flower Cardian, and Subterra Stygo Kraken, not bad. Looking good though, the secret rare is taunting us. The last secret rare is taunting us. We got another Ultra Rare looking forward to as well. Two Stygo Krakens so far. One secret rare, Paleozoic. Clive's End as a rare and Cyber Angel Vras Vrash. This is the card I did my uh, next grade Yugi Tuber discussion on and miserably failed at, but oh well. Here it is. Finally, this card's busted. I've been saying it all along. It's finally cool to see it out in the TCG. Clive's End. 
That card is uh, interesting to say the least as well, especially the name. I see Mare Mare right off the bat. I'm gonna pull that card out right there. Gradle, a recombination, super heavy samurai soul peacemaker. They need to stop coming out with super heavy samurai stuff. Oh, we got another ultra rare, Christron Quandax as a level four synchro tuner monster himself. One tuner, one run on tuner monsters. Generic level four synchro tuner monster. Interesting. Maybe that'll come in handy other than just Christrons. We got, let's see, after this we got, uh, this is our fifth pack left. We got, after we got four. We've got all of our ultra rares. We got four ultra rares, at least the ultra rares that you're, you know, scheduled to get. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Dragon Core Hexer, the level eight normal tuner monster we finally got it and okay okay i was getting worried there for a second torque tune gear those commons to the side got two torque tune gears so far i might have to try that out in abc be very interesting fairy tale sleeper christron paleozoic a romage flower cardian another christron quan I just love that name, Christian Kwan. Gotta put the rare over here. We're getting it. We're coming down to the wire here, folks. We've got three packs left. This is our third pack left right here. A Romage. Another Mare Mare. We got four Mare Mares. All right. Predator Plant. And let's go. Another pot of Avidity. I'm not calling it by its TCG name. I'm gonna be a rebel. I'm definitely playing this card in DDD. Infernoid. Let's go. Card is awesome. I love it. I love the artwork. And I'm glad it's a super rare. Fraud Freeze. Christron. Predator Plant. Double Cypher. Burnout. And Subterra Nemesis Archer. That means no totally awesome. So I'm very sad at this point. But it's a very cool card to have. Subterra Nemesis Archer. Fairy Effect. Basically, if you have a Subterra, I think if this thing attacks, it just cast L's it back into the deck without targeting. So not bad, not bad. Sucks we didn't get a totally awesome. Oh well. You can't win them all. Let's see your last pack. Let's see what we get. Paleozoic. And another Phantom Knight rank up card. Okay, that'll wrap up the box. Finishing with uh, four Ultras, two Secrets, and the rest Supers. I'm going to go ahead and organize all this and I'll be back to you guys in just a moment with a sort of after uh, aftermath here of what we've got thus far in the box all right guys so to wrap this up this is what we got we'll do a quick recap we got two amatrix christrons we got two stygo krakens uh two christron quan rich homie quan then we got two pot of avidities two phantom knight rank ups uh two teller knight genesis Two Paleozoic, whatever he's called, starts with an O. Uh, then we got two uh, Torque Tuning Gear. So, like, a pretty balanced box as far as the Super Rares go. Like, you get a lot of two of, at least for my box. Full Metal Foe Fusion, Cyber Angel Vrash, and then our Ultras were Christron, Quandax, uh, Dang Long, First the Yang Zing, Metal Foes, Fusion, Subterra Behemoth, Ultra Mephis, and then our two Super Rares were uh, Subterra Nemesis, and the Vermilion Dragon Mech, the new Synchro. So you put those into view there. Those are our two secret rares. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Uh, please pay respects for not getting a Tree Toad. And uh, oh, we did, we did get four of these things, four Mare Mare. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, but anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. It'd be greatly appreciated as always, guys. Winter Kill is signing out. I need to go get a Totally Awesome now. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that's, that goes well easy. I'm going to probably sell these because I don't want them. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy. If you did, leave a like. As always, Winter Kill is signing out. We'll see you in the next one.